Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we got 25 new and updated mods to take a look at. For all platforms, we've got 17 new and 3 updates. And for PC and Mac, we got 5 new. I make mod review videos every time mods drop on the official in game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you don't miss any. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We got the John Deere T Series and the 600X headers. We've got two different ones 9.2 and 10.7 meter. Let's take a look at the tractor. First, or rather, the Combine. This is the John Deere T-Series, 305 horsepower, variable transmission, 800 liters fuel, 24 mile per hour max speed, 10,000 liter capacity, and it weighs almost 15 tons. This is also going to be 17 slots if you guys are on console, so be aware of that. This is basically the base game version that we got, but we got some really cool customization. So we have engine setups, T550 and the T560. We also have the T660 at 670. So we don't normally, or just have the T560 anymore. It, anymore. My words today, I'm awful with them. Uh, many different engine options to choose from. Wheel brands, we had Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Fried Style, back and forth. What cool thing is we've got the regular crawler track, but we've got one of these crawler tracks as well. So if you are looking for something like this, well, this may be what you want. I love these on here. It looks great. Uh, straw distribution width. This is going to be on the very back. 5 meters, 6 meters, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, 12. So that's going to kind of be what header you put on there. And uh, because of different pipe options, we've actually got the ability to throw on a much larger header if you want to, uh, all the way up to about 12 meters or so, which is pretty sweet. Otherwise, there you go. That's the T-Series. We've got two headers as well. Both these are going to be eight slots. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any customizations. So the first one, 9.2 meter at six miles per hour. And the second one, 10.7 meters at six miles per hour. That's not the only John Deere that we've got today, though. The John Deere 6300 from Slusha's Modding. Oh, yeah, it is back. And better than ever i love it we have two versions you've got an enclosed cab and you've got an open cab version so choose whatever you like either way you've got that cover on it starting off 100 horsepower manual plus power shift 120 liters fuel 19 miles per hour 5.6 tons and the enclosed version is going to be 10 slots the closed version is 11 configurations we got standard as far as front weights we got a 240 400 560 back and forth between those as far as the wheel brand, we have Trellebork, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bridestein, and back down. If you go into wheel setup, uh, we basically got like a rim one, rim two, and then a uh, two wheel drive. So there's a couple of these options where we've got, I think it's like rear twins on there. Yeah, you can see like this one, we've got a uh, rear twin with a single in the front. So you could do four wheel drive or two wheel drive on these if you want to, which is really nice. Design. We have a couple different exhaust options for you. Choose what you like through there. A couple different design options as far as rear weights go. So you may need a little bit extra weight or maybe you don't need any at all. All good. Front loaders, yes or no. So you got a John Deere on there, yes or no, back and forth. Edge set up 63, which is gonna give you 100. And we've got the 6405, which gives you 105 horsepower. Just go with the 6405. And the main color, this is actually going to be the color of your seat inside. So choose whatever you like through there. As far as the uh, enclosed version, exactly the same options straight through nothing is different next up we have the case maxim series this is a modified version of what appears to be the base game one uh could be a little bit different but we'll just go from there so 145 horsepower variable transmission 250 liters of fuel 31 miles per hour max speed 5.4 tons and 17 slots so it's pretty heavy on the slot count as far as wheels we got trellebork michelin tires continental midas bkt variety style knock in Back and forth between those. Uh, this actually has my favorite style uh, on here of the Trelleborgs. Love that, looking great. So I'm just gonna leave that on there for now. Yeah, there we go. Interior color, we've got uh, gray. Looks like this is just the, oh, I changed it up a little bit, didn't it? So basically we have a couple different carpet options and everything. We'll go with that option on the carpet. Beacon lights, we got a left, right, both or neither. Fenders, we have small black. You've got a broad fender on there as well. So however you want to do that. Front loaders, we've got the quickie. We do have the Hauer or none engine setups. We've got 145, 155, 169, and 175 options. Main colors, we've got your normal red. We do have black, gray, which I love. 
145 years, 140, cool. And then a municipal, if you guys are wanting to do some road works with this as well. Stick with that black, that's looking good. And the license plate, and that is it. The toolbox mod is here. We talked about this yesterday in, uh, <laughs> in our mod preview video. But it is here. We show this how to use it. But I got to show you this. This is for all platforms, by the way. I don't know how he got this on, but it is here. So check this out. You can basically put this down wherever you want. Go into your build mode. Go to tools. Go in right here to toolbox and just place it down. But now we got two. Uh, take this. Make sure it's upright. And face the, uh, face the, the latches towards whatever you want and then walk up to it. Yo, customers! Uh, right now I got crawler tracks on there. I want wheels. There we go. It's done. You can take this wherever you want as well. So just take it, put it on the back of your pickup truck or in the back of your uh, ATV, something like that. And you can go wherever you need to and you have a personal customization menu. Now the thing is, as you can see, I don't have anything around me. So when I go up to this, I can't do anything because there's nothing there, even though I do get the trigger at the top left. But when I go over to this one, oh, uh oh, I messed it up. Uh, Mulligan. <laughs> okay, turns out if you place a couple down beside each other, they don't like each other too much. So maybe just get one of these and you'll be good to go. Nonetheless, super awesome shield spot and congratulations on an awesome bot. It's only one slot as well, 750 bucks. Mobile workshop, get it. One thing to note about this little guy, if you leave your game, wherever you've placed it down, it's going to reappear. So I place this down over there. If for some reason I throw it over the hedge and I leave my game and come back, it's gonna re-pop up over here. So don't freak out whenever you reload back into your game and it's not where you left it. Uh, it's wherever you put it down. So maybe I would recommend if you're on a map, possibly take this and put it by your main farm or if you want put it by the main shop so you always know where it's gonna be got a new trailer mod for you today this is the joskin drakai d600 this is gonna hold 47,000 liters and it's gonna weigh 11.7 tons empty so it is a big boy six slot so nothing too bad there and it is a bulk trailer as well so it holds literally everything Configuration, we have standard. You do have an extension that's gonna go from 47 up to 48 and a half, but you lose some customization. As far as wheel brands, we've got Trailboard, Michelin, Nuckin, BKT, Rustine, back and forth between those. Cover, yes or no. Very cool to have that cover on there. Main color, this is where it gets cool. Check this out. Uh, let's do a, I don't know, we'll do like a pink. There you go, so you can see what changes the pink. Design color, we'll go with white. Oh yeah, and then rim color, you guys know what rims are. Boom, baby reveal. <laughs> and done one of those in a while. Uh, of course, you have your license plate on there as well. That's pretty sweet, man. We also have a nice loading wagon for you. The Stratman Terra Test CFS 4201. This is going to hold 40,000 liters of your normal uh, crop like grass, hay, straw, silage, and chaff. It's going to weigh 10.9 tons. 180 horsepower is required. Normally, I recommend bumping that up about 100 horsepower for loading wagons. Uh, you don't need it to power it, but you might need it to move. <laughs> 12 miles per hour max speed and is only five slots. Wheel Brands, Trellebork, Michelin, uh, Ridestime, BKT. Back and forth between those. Design, you've got uh, Mega Rollers. Oh, metering rollers. So you can put the rollers on there on the back if you want to. Silage additive, yes or no. That's really nice to have. And then of course you got your license plate. Very simple. Next, we've got a modified Brandner DD240732 XXL. Yeah. Uh, this trailer is a tandem trailer, so you can rock one at the front, one at the back, and then pull like 30 more if you really want to. 17.9 uh, thousand liters. So there you go, 7.5 tons. And then you've got a six slot requirement on this configuration. You can throw an extension on there if you want to. So that's going to bring you up to 25,500. You've also got a bell trailer, which boops to the left or right, uh, or all together or not at all. Wheel Brands, Continental. You also have Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Vrystein, and then cover, yes or no, you can add that. And then your main color, all of the above. Choose whatever you want. 
and you're good. One of my favorite disc heroes to use from Farming Simulator 17 is here again, the Amazon Catros 6002. Again, it is a disc hero, 3.6 ton weight, 180 horsepower, six meters at eight miles per hour. So a little bit smaller, a little bit slower, but uh, you can hook this up and it is straight. Also, it's going to be five slots for you guys. Now there's no customization. However, we do have a second version here. So this version right here is used for running on the back of slurry tanks, things like that. Uh, this one, same specs, all the same specs, but you get that disc hero and you can inject slurry all at the same time. That's pretty sweet. We also got you a tether today. This is a very, very small tether and it's nicely customizable as well. Lizard Z525 from Query, Basket, and Consai. Oh yeah, uh, 350 kilograms, so super lightweight, 34 horsepower, super easy to power, 2.7 meter width, super small, <laughs> and nine miles per hour super slow uh but all of that together you could do some older stuff with this It'd be totally fine wheels you got normal wheels you've also got normal wheels with a tire on there main color you've got a nice color palette here of older colors like the blue we'll go with the blue and then design color will go red just so you could see what changes but here's all the colors that you got there i bet this yellow would look good yeah it looks pretty good it looks like an old force piece of equipment Nice, Lizard Z525. Oh yeah, it's two slots as well. Super small slottage. Your next new one for all platforms is the Lizard Implement Mover. This is from EY Modding and is used to move stuff from point A to point B. What you do is you take one side, hook up to your skid steer loader, and then take the other side and you can move three point hitches. Uh, JG Farms, we talked about him in Farm Some News yesterday. They're working on one that has a trailer hitch on there. Well, this one doesn't have a trailer hitch, but it does have three points. So that is pretty cool. Get both of them and you can move anything that you want. Oh yeah. And totally customizable as well. How cool is that? And only one slot. It's awesome. Also for me, why mining, we have the adjustable drawbar pack. Now these were out in farming simulator 19 and I was a little bit confused about them then and asked, well, what's the purpose? You can't hook anything up to them. They're just here. They exist. Well, you guys actually filled me in on that and ey modding has added a nice description to this mod as well they say in real life two-wheel drive tractors struggle on slippery ground when towing heavy trailers uh, this tool is used to apply force upwards from the bottom of the trailer's drawbar in this way some of the trailer's weight is transmitted to the rear wheels of the two-wheel drive tractor as a result uh the coefficient of friction on the rear tires increases the possibility uh of skidding or decreases the possibility of skidding rather so uh this might be cool to run if you guys are looking for more realistic otherwise yeah you probably just skip past it next is the buyable products now we've got four products here we have sugar flour butter and raisins these are going to make doing a few things in your game maybe a little bit easier these are things that you can't just buy right off the bat however with this you can these are going to be 1000 liters each they are two slots each on console so heads up there um and 500 bucks no customization they just i mean they are what they are sugar flour butter and raisins Check it out. A similar pack, but with different things in it. Things that are going to help you more around your farm, less than your productions, is the package of premium pallets and bags. So in here we have seeds, solid fertilizer, lime, wheat, pig food, oats, road salt, manure, move my mouse, mineral feed, and then we've got small bags of all of those as well. Prices are according. Uh, these are going to be 10,500 liters of pallets and 50 liters of uh, bags. I say 10,000, 1,050. There you go. Uh, again, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, slottage is going to be two slots for your uh, pallets and one slot for the bags. We've got what I think is our first sell point mod. And Emma Shop, yeah, from the LSMT modding team, Stefan. Uh, this is going to cost you forty thousand uh, dollars, so not too bad there. Thirteen slots, so kind of high, but it is very highly detailed, so it makes sense. And you're able to sell quite a few things in this. You got flour, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, grapes grape juice, eggs, sugar, cake, bread, potatoes, milk, olive, and road salt. Yes, you can even sell road salt here if you've got some that's left over. Uh, this is really sweet. It's a nice little sell point that is, 
Oh, I fell off. I was going to try and jump on the roof. Anyway, there you go. That's a pretty cool... And the design, look at the details. It all's up on the... Oh, yo! That's tight, man. Yeah. Next up from Camilos0397, we've got the metal shed. Oh, yeah. 13 by 11 meter. It's only going to be 13 grand for this. That's not too bad. Looks pretty good when you get up to it. Very, uh, was that corrugated metal, I believe is what they call that? Anyway, uh, slottage, you could tell the details there because it's 12 slots for a metal shed. So uh, be aware, this is well, not slot heavy, but it's just a little bit on the higher end. If you got 5,000, there's not a whole lot to worry about. But nonetheless, just want to let you guys know, metal shed. Hey, I love it. Has about some buyable large stacks of bales. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we have the large stack of square bales for grass. Now, this is going, what's this, a 6.5, that's so a normal large square bale, uh, but you could buy up to 30 of these. Oof, uh, that's going to be 195,000 liters of grass bales right there. How much does that cost? Ooh, 37 grand, a little high there. Uh, you've also got hay, straw, uh, you've even got silage, and you've got the large uh, round bells as well. So you could choose your wrap color and everything. That's 100,000 liters of silage right there. So this is cool. You don't have to buy like normal size bells anymore, the ones in the middle. You could buy big bells. Yeah, let's go. 270,000 liters of straw. <laughs> And your last mod today for all platforms, the last new one anyway, is the auger wagon to lime. All auger wagons, well, the ones that are specific auger wagons, will now hold lime. In addition to this, uh, the trains can now support everything that normal trailers can. So that is awesome. And this will do pig food as well. So lime and pig food have been added to every single one. So if you're rocking the uh, Elmer's Hallmaster, you could deliver 70,000 liters of lime in the field or even 70,000 liters of pig food. This was a PC script mod in Farming Simulator 19, and I loved it. Actually, I had that in Farm Sim 22 already, but it's here for all platforms. How cool is that? That all being said, we still have three updates for all platforms. Let's go over those quickly. So we have the Evers Agro HSD 6. This is going to be update version 1.001 console release. Sometimes mods update when they have a console release and sometimes they don't. I don't know why one versus the other. Anyway, um, this is a 2.5 meter subsoiler. Not sure how much use this is going to get on your farm, but if you need it, here it is. Uh, 850 kilograms, 120 horsepower required, 2.5 meter work with at 7 miles per hour. It does have a rear three point, so that is kind of nice. And it's going to be seven, no, sorry, four, four. It's four slots, seven miles per hour. We got an update to our multi-production factory today. This came out a while back. It's a really cool mod. You guys got to download this if you haven't already. This is going to be changelog version 1.0. Oh, one. And uh, just so you guys know, it is areas adjusted, info and production trigger has been added, and input error has been adjusted. So there you go. If you were using this before, make sure that you update. It is better than ever. And similarly, we have an update to the Forge Factory version 1.001. Areas improved, info and production trigger added, pig feed has been added, and a fixed bug with the output fill. So there you go there. Let's go to our info bit right here. So here is what you've got in and what you can get out. So we have two productions inside now. Um, again, you've got your TMR, which is everything in one. Now I did and have uh, said a couple times that this may not be the best way that you want to go. However, they have adjusted a few things, so that is nice. Also, uh, we got pig food now as well. So if you take uh, 1,000 liters of canola, if you take 1,500 liters of sunflower, 500 potato, and 1,500 wheat, you will get 4,000 liters of pig food. However, if my math is correct, you're losing 500 liters. So this is costing you money, and you're losing 500 liters of input. Mm, weigh the positives and negatives. Are you lazy and don't want to make pig food? Or, you know... It, 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 let's be honest, making pig food's not always the easiest. This is probably a great way to do it. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. Here's one I'm sure you'd be excited about. The Flegel Timber Runner Auto Load Wood. This is a set of three log trailers. You've got a 12 meter, a 15 meter, and you've got 
the ginormous 20 meter auto loaded trailers uh with these you've got space between the bunks so you can load and unload them uh with front and fender and big arm loaders configurations we have standard trailer hitch you can throw a trailer hitch on the back a couple different wheel options through there and then you've got a rim color as well um, most of that stuff looks like it was just copy and pasted from base game uh with a hitch thrown on the back of it now, regardless, uh, this has got some additional bunks that can be folded and unfolded. And when loading things, maybe you're loading in something shorter, maybe a little bit longer. Well, this is going to help you do that. Uh, you can also switch up the auto load and where they're going to be unloaded from. So that's nice. If you guys use the Mod Hub version of this from Farming Simulator 19, uh, it is very, very similar. So check it out if you do logging and you need auto load some wood your next new one for pc and mac players today is actually a bit of a bummer because this overread another mod that i had downloaded i think from the same person however it requires another mod that we're going to talk about here shortly which i do not want to download and i want to use it in my game uh so yeah the stratman sek or uh, sek 802 pal auto load it's here uh it's been on third party sites forever and now it's on mod hub is that right? I don't know if that's right or not. Your next new one for PC is going to be the tip side HUD. This mod allows a new HUD, which shows at the top side of the currently selected implement or trailer. This enables you to hide the help menu while still being able to see the current selectable tip side. With the right controls, the T, right control and T, you can open the configuration menu. And they do say, please keep in mind that you can only open the configuration menu only when a tipper implement, which supports multiple tip sides, is currently selected. So this is kind of cool. This was a mod that we had in Farming Simulator 19 as well. Super popular then, and I'm sure you guys will like it now. Your next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Palette Auto Load Specialization. They do say an example of how to use in your own mod would be to find the Stroutman SCK 802 Palette Auto Load, which we just talked about a few moments ago. They say currently only default Euro Palettes, Liquid Tanks, Big Bag Palettes, and Cotton Bales are possible more to follow how to use drive next to the pallets and then with the r you can select the loading process make sure you have selected the correct pallet type the pallets are then loaded up by hand onto the loading area fast with straps before you drive off otherwise they'll fall off and you can choose the unloading side and everything uh, this kind of cool basically allows you to use whatever you want this is one of those mods that was released for third-party sites and has been for a long time uh, and it's on Mod Hub now, so there you go. And your last mod today is going to be the Increase Light Range. This d has no description. It just makes the lights brighter. And that's about it. Also, one of the screenshots is missing. Where did it go? Because that is going to be it for today's new and updated mod video for Farming Simulator 22. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam, make sure notifications are on, etc., etc. I have already released Farm Sim News, so check that out if you haven't already. I don't think it went to subscriber boxes, so yeah, thanks YouTube. Uh, also, I've got a new episode from Calmston Farm coming out later today, so stay tuned. All being said, hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.